coming here to the functional division so what did we see this was the vermal area this was the intermediate or paravermal area this is the lateral area right now there are different names that have been given because they because of their connections since the floccular nodular lobe is connected to the vestibular vestibular apparatus this is also known as vestibulo cerebellum this is also known as vestibulo cerebellum this is one of the oldest phylogenetically if you see it is one of the oldest hence it is called as archi cerebellum what is it called as archi cerebellum so let me write here itself this is also known as archi cerebellum fine who this one and what is the other name for this the floculo nodular lobe right and what is this area what is this area representing this area is my vermis things to remember what is vermis exactly having vermis plus this intermediate part this if you remember the representation of the body you see that how it was represented for this person's hand and this was the face for other side we had seen this was his limb right so let me just take the eraser and tell you so if i make a som somatotopic map over here how will i be making it i have the lower limb represented here right then the trunk is being represented here then the upper limb is represented here and then the face right this is how your body is represented what is this part if you look at this part is your trunk part right these are the limbs so definitely when i am getting connections from the spinal cord to maintain body posture to maintain the body balance i definitely need a connection from the cerebellum to the spinal cord right for that if you see the representation that your axial part of the body as well as your limbs are represented in the vermis and the paravermis area since there is a connection from this segment with the spinal cord we also call this as spino cerebellum spino cerebellum is also called as paleo cerebellum if you look at the phylogenetic development or classification phylogenetic means as the time of evolution or as their development archi cerebellum is the oldest one next comes the paleo cerebellum okay it's newer but not the newest one it is new one but not the very modern one who is the most modern one is this part the lateral one this is also called as cerebro cerebellum or neo cerebellum i hope this is clear with the divisions so if you come to the phylogenetic division they are divided as the most oldest one archi cerebellum who is the oldest one floculo nodular lobe or the vestibulo which lobe floculo nodular lobe what is it called vestibulo cerebellum then comes to this area this area which is having a representation of the body right in a somatotopic part so if you remember the down part also down part also our body was represented something like this isn't it here was the hand here was the limb of this person right so again the axial part representation is in the vermis right so vermis is the part which vermis and the paravermis since they are representing you know they are got the connections with the spinal cord they are connecting to the medial descending systems and the lateral descending systems who ultimately are landing to which muscle my muscles the axial muscles and the proximal muscles right so there is motor execution these connections the function is for motor execution coming to the lobe this lobe is also this is a functional division this is also called as spino cerebellum spino cerebellum is also known as paleo cerebellum right then comes the most lateral part this part this part has got the connection with the cerebral cortex it has connections with the cerebral cortex cerebral cortex which part the motor area the premotor area 
the supplementary motor area and as well as to the somatosensory area. Since it has got the connections with the cerebral cortex, we call this lobe as cerebrocerebellum. And it is also called as neocerebellum. So, phylogenetically, archicerebellum, first one, then came the paleocerebellum, and very new in development is the neocerebellum.